So this video is all about the frozen shoulder. What I'm going to do is I'll go through some anatomy with you first so you understand what a frozen shoulder actually is. Then I will demonstrate a really good self-massage technique you can do at home which will significantly reduce the pain of the frozen shoulder. And then I'll go through some very simple but highly effective exercises to help you get mobility back in the shoulder again. Okay, let's get started. So before I demonstrate these exercises and therapy for the frozen shoulder, I think it's probably a good idea to quickly go over the anatomy of the shoulder and explain to you what actually happens. So in front of me, I have uh, an anatomical model of the right shoulder. What you see here is your clavicle or your collarbone, which sits at the front here. Then we have the shoulder blade, which sits at the back. And then we have the upper arm, which sits here. Now this is the tissue we're interested in, the front here, and the back there. So that's your, uh, that's your capsule. And capsule is essentially very strong connective tissue, not that dissimilar to scar tissue. And what it does is it keeps the joint surfaces nice closely together, so you get a nice and stable joint. Now what happens with the frozen shoulder is this capsule actually thickens and the joint becomes very stiff and tight. You can't move it anymore. And the process of thickening is not that dissimilar to when you have a plastic cup which is melting through the heat. The shivelling of the plastic cup is a similar process to what you see when the capsule uh, shrivels with a frozen shoulder. So the frozen shoulder, it actually occurs in three stages. Stage number one is a frozen stage. This generally lasts uh, from six weeks to nine months. You often experience a pain on the top here and on the outside of your arm. Initially, you won't have a decrease uh, in range of movement, so you can move the shoulder in all directions up to you fine. But gradually throughout this phase, the movement will decrease in all directions. So when you put your arm on your side and trying to put your, uh, your forearm outwards, that will decrease the movement. Trying to place the back of your hand in the small of your back, that will be decrease the movement. Also, uh, an arm over your head that also will decrease in, uh, in movement. Um, and if you have an impingement, for example, what you often see is you have a decrease in movement and pain in only one direction and not in all directions. So the second stage is the frozen stage. The frozen stage lasts for four to six months. And actually what happens is the pain slowly decreases in the frozen stage, but you will definitely have a reduction in movement in all directions. So again, arm outwards, uh, hand on your back, or arm up, all directions, the movement will, uh, will be less than normal. And the last phase of a frozen shoulder is called the thawing phase. Um, when then what actually happens is the movement slowly improves, again, in, in all directions, but this can last up uh, to almost two years. So essentially it's between six months and two years. So a frozen shoulder takes a long, long time to heal, uh, but that's why I've made this video and I will share some exercises and some therapy with you that will really, really significantly reduce the time it takes to heal the frozen shoulder. So before I demonstrate some exercises for the frozen shoulder, I'd like to share with you a really, really effective technique to reduce the pain immediately. I'm going to demonstrate this on my right arm. What you need to do is place your right hand on your left shoulder. With my left hand, I'm making a pincher grip. I'm placing my index finger and my middle finger almost on the tip of my shoulder blade. You feel like a hard bit here, which is the tip of your shoulder blade. And my thumb digs in just underneath my armpit. And I'm feeling now for a muscle knot in a muscle called the latissimus dorsi. And this muscle often produces knots in case of frozen shoulders. And by just squeezing it, so I'm feeling a knot here, I'm squeezing it now, I'm holding this for about five to 10 seconds. I'm going to repeat it five times, and that will really reduce the pain in that shoulder. You see, this is a very, very effective, effective pain release technique. So you can do this once a day, twice a day, three times a day, doesn't really, really matter. Just feel those knots and squeeze them for five seconds, repeat about five times, and you can do this throughout the day. So the first set of exercises I'm going to demonstrate to you for a frozen shoulder are really, really efficient exercises where you got to the stage where you can hardly move that shoulder at all. Uh, and these are floor exercises, and all you need for these are a dowel. So what you need to do is lay on your back. As you see, uh, I've got a little towel here to support my head. So I lay on your back, I'm having a 90 degree angle in my, uh, in my right elbow, so I'm, I'm assuming my right shoulder is the frozen shoulder. 90 degree angle here, I'm holding on to the dowel here, and all I do now with the left hand is I'm gonna push my arm as far as I can. Now when I reached 
the end. I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds and repeat this three to five times. And you can do this daily. Yes, yeah, so you come in again, you push it out, and then hold it here for about 30 seconds and do this three to five times. Now, if this goes well, all you do now is you move your arm up a little bit. Yeah, and you do the same thing. So again, push your arm out, hold this for three uh, for 30 seconds, and repeat three to five times. And the ultimate goal is to have a 90 degree angle in the upper arm, hold on the dowel here, and push your arm all the way down so you can actually touch uh, the floor with the, uh, the, the wrist and the hand. So that's your first set of exercises that you need to do. The second set of exercises is we're going to do the deflection component. So again, laying on your back, uh, hold on to the dial with your affected hand, move the dial up, hold it here, move up, hold it here, or what you can do if you, if, this, if you get to this stage, grab the dial with the other hand and then push it all the way up as far as you can. Again, keep your elbow straight, hold this again for about 30 seconds and repeat five times and you can do the daily. And again, the ultimate goal is obviously for this to be all the way down with the wrist and the hand on the floor, uh, but that may, might take some time as well. So that's exercise number two. The movement that many of my patients struggle with with a frozen shoulder is trying to place the back of the hand in a small of the back. Huh? Either putting something out of the back pockets or with women doing up the bra strap, they often can't do that with a frozen shoulder. And this is a fantastic exercise to get that movement going again. Um, and again, all you need is again the, the dowel. You see I've got a little bit of a tower here uh, to support my forehead. And what I do now, I'm going to demonstrate it on my left shoulder, so pretend my left shoulder is the frozen shoulder. I'm going to lay face down, hold the dowel in my left hand, and then I've got actually quite a wide position as you can see with my left hand. So now I'm going to push my left hand backwards using my right hand. And the same thing, hold this now for about 30 seconds and repeat uh, three to five times. But when this goes well, what you can do is move your hand more inwards towards your buttocks. It makes it a lot harder. And that goes well, move your hand in a bit more. And come all the way up. Yeah? And the same thing here, so hold this again. Every movement for 30 seconds, repeat three to five times, and you can do this daily, or you can even do this multiple times a day. Now the movement that most people struggle with when they're suffering from a frozen shoulder is placing the back of the hand in the small of the back. So whether they're trying to reach something out of the back pockets or they want to do up their bra strap, that's often uh, what they struggle with most. So I'm going to demonstrate now three exercises ranging from easy to more advanced to help you regain that movement when you're struggling with a frozen shoulder. So all you need again is a dowel. First thing what you need to do is place it, stabilize the dowel, uh, against a wall or a door. Stand upright, make sure you keep your elbow straight and just walk forward and not moving your hand at all. So you're now doing what we call uh, extension of the arm. And again, you hold this for about uh, 30 seconds and repeat three to five times. Yeah, so again, stabilize it, moving forward, hold this three to five seconds and repeat this uh, three to five times. Now, if that goes well, you can move on to the second stage of this exercise. And now what you do is you grab the dowel with the other hand yeah, and all you do is you now pull the affected arm across as far as you can. Same thing here, hold this for about 30 seconds and repeat three to five times. Yeah, so again, grabbing hold to the dowel and pulling it across to the other side and hold this for three to five, uh, 30, 30 seconds and repeat three to five times. Now if that goes well, you move on to the third stage of this exercise. And now you make sure the dowel is facing upwards. I'm hold, my good arm holds onto the top of the dowel. My bad arm, bad shoulder holds onto the bottom. And all I'm doing now is pulling my arm upwards as far as I can. Similar thing here, hold this for 30 seconds and repeat three to five times. Yeah, so I'm pulling it all the way up as far as I can. Hold this for about 30 seconds. And I can do this daily, at least once a day. If you can do it two or three times a day, then please do. Uh, and this will help you with the movement, and again, to do up your, your bra strap or reach in your, in your back pockets, the movement that many people struggling with frozen shoulder uh, struggle with most. So these final sets of exercises will help you with moving your arm outwards and moving your arm 
upwards. Uh, I'd like to use a door frame for this. I, I prefer this over a dowel because the door frame is nice and sturdy. You can push a little bit further. So what you need to do is hold on to the door. Uh, people with a frozen shoulder often kind of do more than this with external rotation. I'm moving the arm outwards. So I have a 90 degree angle in the elbow. Hold on to, uh, to a door frame. And all you do now is I'm turning my body, rotating my body away from the, from the affected arm. Hold this again for 30 seconds and repeat three to five times. And then obviously, as you get better at this, you just move your arm up and you do the same thing. Huh? Or you go all the way up and you do the same thing. What you can also do, instead of using your hand, just use your elbow. So come in a bit closer, fixate your elbow on the door frame and then turn your body away uh, from, the, from the affected shoulder. And again, hold this for 30 seconds and repeat three to five times, at least once a day. And if you can do it a bit more often, it will be uh, definitely better, uh, better for you. So these exercises will help you with the movement of your arm out and up as well. I love making these videos for you. I love using the YouTube platform to share exercises and knowledge with you so you can help yourself. If you found any value in this video, please don't hesitate and leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Uh, for now, I'd like to say take care of yourself. Take care of someone else as well if you can, and bye for now. Bye-bye.